In this video, I wanted to show you a way to export or consolidate your tracks. So therefore you can share them with maybe another engineer or just import them into another doll of your choice. So what I've done is I've made a timeline selection and this particular song was not recorded to a click track. So it really doesn't matter if I have this at the very beginning of this region or not. So I just made a timeline selection here in Reaper. Then I did shift R and that creates a region bar across the top. And then I right click hit render region. And then I actually go into the file name under wildcards and select project information and track. And what that does is it's going to export the individual tracks by their actual name. So I have renamed these guitar one left, guitar one right, guitar two left, guitar two right, and so on. So that way I know exactly what each track is. And I am exporting these in a WAV file at 24 bit, 44 one. And they are being sent to the original location where the procession is stored in a folder called consolidate. And normally if this was set to an actual tempo, then I would put consolidate 150 BPM or something like that. But in this case, I'm just doing regular old consolidate. So you can go to the region matrix and you have the option to do master mix or you can do all tracks. A master mix might be neat, but I hadn't mixed these tracks previously. So I'm just going to do all tracks. So it highlights everything, even the reverb. So we're going to capture the reverb sound that I have in this session. And then we can go to render. And if you need to apply it, you can hit apply right there. But otherwise, we just do render seven files. And I've already done this. So you'll see that we need to overwrite the previous tracks, which is fine. We'll overwrite those. And now you'll see the little progress area right here showing the tracks playing at 11 times the speed of the real time. I'm just going to go along and then it's done. And then I'm going to hit show and finder. And now you can see all the files we have right here. So here's guitar one left, guitar one right, guitar two left, guitar two right, guitar three left, guitar three right. And there's these other ones in here, which I don't need. Yeah, these were a previous location. So I'm going to go ahead and trash those. And there's a reverb. All right, so now that we have that done, we can close out Reaper. And we're going to open up Harrison Mixbus 32C version 6. And we can just do a new session. And let's do my bus VCA template. And we'll do open. And it's going to start up. Okay, and I do have some tracks that I have in this template. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And I should probably redo that template anyway, but we'll just keep it as is. We're going to go to track and import. And then we're going to go to four terabyte clients. And this song is by Lance Allen. Always in my heart. So this is a new one. We're going to, go to consolidate and here's all the files. So the first one is selected. I'm going to go down to the last one, hold down shift. It's going to highlight all of them. We're going to add files as new tracks. We're going to do the mapping as one track per file. And insert at session start, which is fine. And then we're just going to hit import. I'm just going to go through and import everything. Okay, once that's done, we can just close this out on top. I'm going to go ahead and hit the first track. Do command A, which is going to highlight all of them. Let's go ahead and slide these out to about 17. I like having a little bit of space before the session just for fun. And I'm going to go ahead and group these tracks together. So we're going to do the little slidey thing. <laughs> slidey thing. So here's guitar one. And we'll make these a certain color. Let's make them a little green. In most of my sessions, the guitars are green. In this case, since we don't have like drums and bass and all that, I can say like guitar two, and we'll make this one like a little more purple, and then guitar three. Let's go ahead and listen to what we have here. All right, 
right, so there you go. I even have the reverb in there. Let's solo the reverb up so you can hear that. There you go. So that is how I export tracks in Reaper and import them into Harrison Mixbus for further processing, mixing, mastering, and so on. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell if you enjoy videos just like this. So I'm Dr. McFarland. I'll see you in the next video. Keep rocking.